Feel the rhythm and get ready to party! Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Samba de Amigo Party To Go. It's available on Nintendo Switch and on Apple Arcade. So if you have a subscription to that streaming service, then you're able to have a go and play at this right now. This is a sequel to the nearly 25 year old Samba de Amigo that came out on the Dreamcast back in 1999. It's also re-released on the Wii as well, so that brought it to a new generation of people. But it has been so long since we have seen the monkey Amigo right now in his element in this rhythm playing game. Oh, hang on, gotta swing. Let's just do this. Gotta go for a run right now. Let's just swing our arms and go. Here we go, here we go. I've never done this one before. This is a little mini game that pops up. As you can see, sometimes you're able to do a little mini game and I'm really hoping I managed to do well there. 2K, sweat is so beautiful. There you go. Wonderful. Okay, so anyway, as we get back into this, that really took me out of it for a little moment. This is the mobile version of the Nintendo Switch game Party Central. So you have a few different ways that you can play. You can play on the Nintendo Switch where you can use the controllers and you can also use the motion control of the Joy-Cons. In a couple of months time, this will also be released on Oculus Quest where you'll be able to play in VR, which will obviously give a whole new experience as well. But this is the mobile port rebranded as Party To Go on the Apple Arcade and you can use your thumbs or fingers if you so wish, but I use my thumbs in order to play. You've seen what the game is and how we are playing it. We are going through, we are trying to match the rhythm, we are trying to keep in time, and we are trying to get a good score. Everything is brash, it is colorful, it is fun. There are real songs, there are actual songs that are out there, not necessarily bespoke for the game. You can play in a couple of different ways. You can either go through and just play sort of the classic arcade mode where you're just playing songs and getting the best score, or there is this somewhat of a story mode. There is a narrative as we're going through. Amigo is in search of the legendary Maracas. He has become the best Samba Maraca player in the world, and he is now burgeoned out into space in a Maraca-shaped spacecraft but he is now drifting aimlessly in hopes of finding the legendary Maracas. And the way we do that is by progressing and getting a good score. Now, as you can see, I was so focused on trying to explain to y'all about how to play the game that I only got a D ranking in that. The first time I got an S when I was playing it by myself. But anyway, as we go into this, let me tell you exactly how to play and we'll see if I can do any better. What you wanna do is when the beat, when the maraca goes through the circle, you tap it and you make sure you hit it in time to get a good score. There are different ways you can do it. You can get it perfect, good, great, or just a complete miss you want to try and get it perfect all the way listening to the beat will be great and it's also really fun because the music is great there's a lot of latin covers of very popular pop songs very much of samba vibe we are playing with the maracas as i say and we are going through so i just want to get through all of this story mode yeah let's skip the scene and jump in and let's see how we do now it's not just tapping when the beat goes into the circle, there's also different poses you have to do. And when you do different poses and different like dragging your thumb around in order to make sure you get the poses in time. So for example, you've seen here when it's a lot of them, you just wanna keep on shaking those maracas, keep on shaking those maracas. Oh, I missed that one there. Nearly had a good one. Oh no, it's because I can't, hear the song as I'm playing it because I'm talking over the top of it. But when it comes to copying the pose, you want to put both thumbs on as if it's your, as if it's the arms of the player and then move them into the pose that is on the screen in order to get the point. So for example, now we have to keep on swiping up and down and let's bring that round. You saw that one there. We're dragging it round in order to mimic. There we go. And we got that very good. Now, as I say, this is available on Apple Arcade. And because of that, it is a premium game because you are paying for the subscription service. So there are no in-app purchases, no in-app ads. You do earn currency as you go through the game. So you have to keep on playing in order to get more currency and do well so that you can buy. Oh, wow, things will go fast and go slow. Okay, so it's all going to go. Oh, it's all going to go all over the shop right now. Uh, no, I didn't do the pose. Oh, no, okay. We got that, it's slowed right down. Okay, now it's slowed right down. I get a moment to breathe. 
You can unlock new costumes, unlock new looks for the maracas. You can start to customize and do things the way you want. Once we get out of this particular level, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the customization options so you can see what's going on. But right now, let's keep to the beat. How have I done? Fever five. That seems pretty good, but I don't think we got fully max on that, did we? But I did pass, which I'm happy about, but I dropped a few points here and there. Let's see how that's affected the score. Here we go. It's all fun. The animations are so lovely. The music is so upbeat. It is a lot of fun, and it is harkening back to the times. I remember some of the Amigo, and I remember how he would pop up in other games, but just not get his own game again, which was always a little bit odd. We've gone up another level right now. We've got 4,000 coins. I'll be able to buy something in the customization shop. I'll show you that as we get out of this. So it's nice to see that he's making a comeback and doing the motion controls on the Nintendo Switch, doing the VR headsets, that will be a lot of fun. But just right here on your phone, a little bit of thumbs on, keep to the beat, keep to the rhythm. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of colors, it's a lot of animation, it is fan. Fantastic. So let's jump in. This is the customization shop. I'm just gonna show you this before I sign off. I've got 10,000 coins. There are so many things that you can buy. You can buy different costumes. You can buy different hats and earrings and accessories. So like, oh, look at these sunglasses. You can get him sombrero, different types of sunglasses. Let's have a look at all these different costumes. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Lots of colors, lots of nice colors. Uh, here he looks like a banana, brilliant, but I mean, the monkey would probably eat bananas, so I don't want him to dress up as his food. I wouldn't be walking around as a massive piece of Haribo. Let's see, wow, okay. He can, as a knight of the realm, but it seems a little bit odd, but when you go into the maracas, you can also see that you can buy different maracas. And if you scroll down a little bit, here are all the swords. So I think I'm gonna buy some swords and then I'm just gonna jump in and buy some suit of armor. Oh, but look at this suave suit. Look at him go, disco fever over here. Well, that's actually more Miami Vice, isn't it, with the pink tie. Let's put him in a suit of armor, and now he can slay back in the day. All different types of sounds, all different avatars, different backgrounds for your avatar, different heads. Look at all these different looks that he's got. Is there one with a helmet on? That would be awesome if there was. Anyway, I'm running out of money and I'm also running out of time, my friends. This has been a little look at Samba de Amigo Party to Go. Let us know down below. Will you be having a go at this? Do you remember Samba de Amigo and you were excited to have this go on Apple Arcade? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, my friends, luck and more to you all and catch you next time.